dear students welcome to my channel uh, this is shilpi saxena and today i will be covering python fundamentals so this is the agenda for today what is uh, first topic will be interpreter and compiler modes of python variables its definition storage and then a simple program to add two numbers now what is interpreter and compiler see python is basically high level language computer cannot understand that high level language to convert it into low level language we have to use a software that we should convert high level language into low level language so that computer can execute the program so to con uh, interpreter is a software that read the code one line at a time and it will it will check first line and then it uh, it will check whether the line is correct or not if it is correct it will execute it after that it will move to second line if the second line is correct it will move to third line if error is there again it will display the error you have to rectify the error it means python is interpreted language which executes one line at a time compiler is a software that is you that uh, read the whole code and display the list of errors and once you rectify all the errors then only code gets executed but python is interpreter language now next thing is uh, modes of python there are two modes of python that is one is interactive mode and another one is script mode see to start with python we have to click on start and then python id le whatever version you are using maybe 2.7 or 3.7 here we will be covering commands of 3.7.4 fine so you have to click on python id le it will open a window that is basically interactive mode in interactive mode when we write any code suppose we are writing 4 plus 5 we are write we are writing any expression it will be evaluated and result will be displayed there only suppose i have written print computer so it the result will be printed there only the drawback of using interactive mode is nowhere we are able to store the code suppose you want to write multiple line program multiple lines program you have to use script mode in which you can write the code and save it for further use so to open a script mode from this window only you have to click on file and then new when you will click on file and new another window will open and this mode is known as script mode in which you will be writing script once you complete when once you complete your script you have to save it save it click on file and then save as after saving your uh, program you have to press f5 key to run the program once you run the program the result will be displayed in interactive mode only fine so um, all the uh, programs will be written in script mode the next thing is variable now what is a variable variable is basically we are um, in python we will be using different data may it be integer may it be float may it be string so we have to give some identity to that data when we store the data the name given to the data is known as variable it is basically the name given is in python the name given is known as identifier okay so if we have written x is equal to 3 so this is a variable x or this is the name is this is identifier basically so when we are using anywhere in the program when we are using x so x means 3 okay so now um the in python the difference between the storing of variables in python and any other language like c++ is suppose i have written x is equal to 3 y is equal to 3 and z is equal to 3 now in python how it will be stored simply at one location python will store 3 x will point to 3 y will point to 3 and z will point to 3 in any other language it will store suppose at 2000 location it will store 3 and x will point to it 
at some other location suppose 3000 3 will be stored and y will point to 3 and so on means it's separate data is stored at separate location it doesn't happen that all the variables are pointing to this 3 so but in python one more thing is there that is reference count Reference count is basically a variable that stores the number of variables that are pointing to this particular data. Suppose we have written x is equal to 3. In that case, the reference count is 1. Now, if we have written y is equal to 3, reference count will become 2. If we have written z is equal to 3, reference count will become 3. So, as many uh, variables are pointing to that particular data, the reference count will keep on increasing. It will not store the data separately. Now, to define any variable, we have to follow, uh, to give name to the identifier, we have to follow some rules. The first rule is, it should not start with a number. Suppose I have written marks 1 is equal to 20. This is valid. We can use the uh, number anywhere in the identifier but we cannot write 1 marks is equal to 20 this is wrong it should not start with a number it should not have any special character we cannot write first name shilpi we cannot use this hyphen because it is a special character we have to use, if we want, we can use underscore name. Okay, so we can use hy uh, underscore, but we cannot use hyphen, we cannot use dot, we cannot have space between these two, this these characters, we cannot have space. So these are illegal and this is legal and this is legal. Okay, now there are different ways to define any variable. The first thing is A is equal to 2, B is equal to 2, C is equal to 2. This is the first way. If we have to define these three variables, we can also write A comma B comma C is equal to 2. It means 2 will be the value in A as well as B and as well as C. If we have written A is equal to 2, B is equal to 3 and C is equal to 4. So, we can write 2 comma 3 comma 4. So, A will be initialized to, uh, 2 will be initialized to A, 3 will go to B and 4 will go to C. We can also have expression by initializing. Suppose I have written this, after this we, if we want we can also write x comma y comma z is equal to a plus 2 b plus 3 or a so first this expression will be evaluated a plus 2 will be obviously 4 b plus 3 will be 6 and a will be 2 now this 4 will go to x this 6 will go to y and this 2 will go to z now uh, when whenever we are writing any variable this is known as l value and this is known as r value value at the left hand side is known as l value and value at the right hand side is known as r value see we can replace l value with we cannot replace l value with r value but we can replace r value with l value this is correct how? Suppose I have written A is equal to 2, but I cannot write 2 is equal to A. This is wrong. Now, uh, if we want, how we can do this? If we want, we can write Y is equal to A. This is correct. This R value is replaced by L value, but we cannot write like this. Okay? One more thing by naming an identifier is you should not keyword. You not use keyword. Keywords are basically the special words that have some special meaning in any language. For example, we are using print. Print is a command that is used to display anything on the screen. So, this is a command that is displaying something on the screen. Okay, so we cannot write print is equal to 2. This is wrong because print is a keyword. 
now the uh, we now we will be discussing about a small program that is a program to add two numbers suppose we want to add two numbers we can write x is equal to 4 y is equal to 2 z is equal to x plus y after that print z now we have taken three variables first variable storing is storing in some data for example 4 y is a variable that store the data 2 and z is a variable that will evaluate the data that is x plus y that is 4 plus 2 is 6 now till here the data is there in z but how can we know what is the data to see what is evaluated and what is the result we have to display it on the screen to display anything on the screen we have a command print whatever we are writing in uh, this this is a variable so whatever data is there whatever value is there in z that will be printed on the screen so this program you have to write in script mode that is work click on file then new and then write this program after writing it you have to press f5 key once you press f5 key it will ask you to save the program then save the program with the valid name and after that you will get result on the output screen that is in interactive mode in interactive mode result will be displayed it will be evaluated and 6 will be dis displayed but in this program, what is the problem? Every time the value of uh, x will be 4 only and y will be 2 only. Suppose I want uh, user to get, uh, I want user to enter the numbers and then we can, if, uh, then we have to evaluate it. Then we will write x is equal to input is a function that is used to get input from the user. Enter first number suppose. So, um, this is a function that, that after that whatever we are writing on in inverted commas that will be displayed as it is on the output screen. Suppose this is output screen. So, uh, but the problem is input is a function that takes only string input. Means if, even if you are entering 3, 4, 5 or 2.5 or any other integer value or float value, then also it will be considered as, as string. And we cannot do any kind of calculations on string. So, to convert it into integer value or float value, we have to use typecasting. That is whatever we are entering. Suppose we have entered 3. Till here it is a string. The string is always written in inverted commas. So that will be considered as a string. To convert it into integer we have to use this type casting. This is a keyword that is used to convert any uh, string value to integer value. If we want decimal, if we want to calculate, if we want to do calculation on decimal values that is also known as float values. In that case we have to use x is equal to float means suppose we are entering 2.5 that is actually a string and then when it will use type casting and it will convert it into float value so take to take decimal input from the user we have to use float to take integer number from the user we have to use int keyword similarly we can take second input that is float input enter second number after this we can use z is equal to x plus y and print z now when we will use f5 key so it will check the program if error is there it will display the error once it will execute the program once it is executed, uh, the program is executed, it will move to interactive mode and the first line, when first line will be executed, it will display enter first number. As Python is interpreted language, it will execute one line at a time. So first line, there is no error, it will execute it, it will write the enter first number. Suppose I have written 3 and press enter it will move to second line it will evaluate it it will execute it enter second number suppose 5 and press enter once you will press enter 
it will move to third line. What it will do? It will evaluate the result. That is 3 plus 5 is 8. Now till here nothing will be printed because we don't know the output. Though we have used print command. So print command what it will do? It will print the result on the screen. So in this way this program is executed. So that's all for today. In next video we will be covering print statements and further more topics on Python fundamental. If you like this video please like and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you and have a nice day.